You know, when people say Nintendo's for kids or Nintendo's for family-friendly gaming, those statements, they are wrong. They are very wrong. What I like to say is that Nintendo is for everyone. And I mean that literally. Today, I want to talk about something that I don't think is very talked about or maybe something that people haven't even noticed, really. You might notice if you're a Steam gamer, if you're a PC gamer, you would have definitely noticed an increase on very questionable games, a very different kind of video game. I'm going to label these games as age games. I've been seeing age games legitimately everywhere and on steam it makes sense you know it's it's steam to my surprise those exact same type of games are also on the eShop, on the nintendo eShop. it has completely caught me by surprise that nintendo is allowing such games on their system yeah i'm standing up now it makes it feel a little bit more professional so like, guys, like power cynical it's a couple it. years ago i'm sure a lot of you guys may remember a game by the name of senran kagura reflections it was very talked about and i'm not gonna sit here and pretend that i'm a very innocent person but let's just say i i, I bought the game i i bought the game and, and and i played it here's some footage yeah yeah uh so you gotta keep the, the thing in the middle so you gotta slap them but you know not not too hard you know but yeah that was a very interesting game at the time and everybody was talking about it everybody was confused surprisingly that is the only game where i felt nintendo's haptic feedback on action <laughs> so the last time i ever went whoa nintendo whoa you're kind of crossing the line here what, what is wrong with you what's with this game right here which i've played on the channel a good while ago is on the chambara i was mesmerized that so this is not focused about what this being on my nintendo system Mm -mm -mm. no 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 what is wrong with you sinners but after such game like san juan kagura i still can't exactly pinpoint why nintendo allowed such a thing in the system in the first place i don't know but at least we've indicated the first time nintendo marked the line for what is allowed on the system at least on the nintendo switch the first game i could find that people talked about is this game called hold on <laughs> a game called i <laughs> versus evil and people were mind blown because a game with the word hi on it was a lot on nintendo which is the first time i've seen people ever talk about anything besides sermon kagura a lot of the comments to this game go as follows this game can't be real what's the problem with nintendo to have lewd games on the switch this is the same company that wouldn't allow mortal kombat to have blood on the snes so clearly there was mixed opinions some people hated Nintendo for it. Some people thought Nintendo was a bit of a hypocrite. And ever since that, age games just kept piling and piling up. And now are more common than you think. So how did I found out about this? Well, one day I was just browsing through the eShop like normal. And usually I hate browsing through the Nintendo Switch eShop because there's no music. It is very laggy. I happen to come across by the name of Sakura Succubus. I'm gonna lie. I recognize such series and as soon as i recognize these series i'm like that's not that's not christian that's not christian that's not a christian video game and i did a little bit of digging and i did more digging and i found out that like, the entire series is just is there chilling free for you to buy on the nintendo eShop. my first thought was well maybe it's just a visual novel and it's fully censored which is not entirely incorrect these games are still level 8 or rated m for mature obviously but i have not played any of these so i i can't tell you if the game has the, 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 the boonga boonga but then a little bit more digging and unfortunately i started recognizing more and more games notice how i'm using the term recognizing meaning that i've played these games before i know this is the worst look i promise i'm changed i i promise i i promise please please but yeah it didn't took me long to notice where like what if nintendo is cooking up some nsfw games they're just allowing them on their system i was like what for those of you wondering no i'm not buying or have bought any of these but regardless you know besides that the eShop just has the most questionable video games just ever they'll, they'll tell you anything at this point and from the looks of it i wasn't the only person that was caught off guard from this a lot of people like to bring up the Mortal Kombat incident how was nintendo allowing these anime naked anime girls on my system when they wouldn't allow me to have blood on my Mortal Kombat game 30 years ago so when did nintendo allow such non-family friendly video games to their console according to this article i found by Demi gamer the reason goes back to the release of the wii u it turns out developing games for third-party game studios on the wii u was a nightmare and they were transitioned into making it to the nintendo switch in order to propose and sell more games on their platform it was imperative to get more studios involved which resulted in the nintendo eShop a completely open market for games 
with much less regard onto censorship. I had a stroke reading that, but that's basically what it says. And from what I've read and looked around, the digital games are fairly censored from what I've seen. And you know, the, the steamy gamers, uh, the age game community, they do not approve that this is the way to play your little age games. If anything, it's being leveled as the worst way to play these kinds of games. But that doesn't necessarily mean that everything is completely censored. From what it seems, if you want the game completely uncensored, you have to go out of your way and buy a physical copy if available. So yeah, good luck trying to buy Hentai versus Furry. Yeah, hand that out to the GameStop employee. But you know, this is not just spreading to Nintendo consoles. It just seems to spread to the console market in general. Sure, it makes more sense. Sony and Microsoft, they've always allowed more matured content on their systems. I know it's nothing too mind-blowing. These kinds of games have a history since the 1980s. It's still a shocker that Nintendo allowed such things. It could also be a good thing. Nintendo is allowing straight up their eShop, but then refused to add certain characters to Smash Bros because they showed too much skin, or they censored over sexualized characters like Pyra and Mithra. The way Nintendo does things, it, it confuses me. I understand for Smash Bros, it's rated E10+, I, I get it, but those same youngins, they also have access to the eShop. People obviously lie about their age all the time, so Nintendo confuses me. It, it confuses me. I am very unsure what this means for the future of Nintendo. <laughs> Some of these games can cost up to 50 to $60, like, damn. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not your dad. I'm not gonna tell you, don't play these games, they're bad for your brain. But I will throw a little warning out there. Hey, these games can cost a lot of money. These games can be pretty bad for your mental health. It really can be. And they're gonna keep spreading. Why? Because it sells. Because it makes money. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys like this type of content, you know, you know, you know what you gotta do. You gotta like and subscribe. So yeah, I hope you guys like this different type of content. But you guys know the deal. You guys, you guys know what you gotta do. Make sure you guys win a nice little bro slap. Okay, bro slap. Bye.